Hey everyone, we're kicking off CES 2026 coverage with CES Unveiled, the exclusive preview event where companies show off their most innovative tech before the main show floor even opens. I walked the show floor checking out new products across accessibility tech, healthcare robotics, personal transportation and some interesting takes on wall art. This is my full walkthrough of everything that caught my eye at CES Unveiled 2026. Let's dive in. Edward. Edward, good to meet you, Edward. You're from SQ Motors, which, yeah. and this is the stern board, is that right? Exactly. Okay, so tell me about the stern board. It's a big off-road uh, skateboard, basically on three wheels. It's for um, all terrain. You can go on the sand, on the beach, on the snow. We have a snow kit. You can put uh, a track directly on the back wheel and in two minutes. Two ski on the front wheel and you can go easily on the snow. How long will it last? The battery? Yes. Uh, we have three different batteries and the max battery we have uh, 100 kilometers of range. Price points? Uh, we sell it about uh, $3,000. Uh, we have a lot of kit. We have a handle um, for the beginners and uh, very all type of people can uh, easily uh, handle it. We are specialized in the new generation of massage chair. Uh, it has been 19 years that we have been established and uh, we are now operating over uh, 20 countries and the new type of massage chairs they have uh, independent arms and independent leg movements that allows you to do full body stretching together with the traditional massage. So what is the benefit of the machine moving your limbs? Yeah, so uh, it helps, uh, it uh, does basically massage but also it helps you to have a uh, better mobility uh, so it's helpful for healthy people who want to have a daily massage after exercising, uh, to relieve uh, the, the stress, uh, the daily stress, uh, to people who are working, uh, uh, doing home office and uh, doing a lot of work uh, mm -hmm. sitting on the chair, but also for older people who have a mobility issue and cannot walk a long time uh, during yes. the day, they, ha they sit, they do this um, uh, leg movement and uh, stretching and it, uh, it's, uh, it brings the benefit of uh, exercise. It does. Exercise. Okay. That was great. I want one. Uh, so we are the world's first uh, modular axle sectors. So basically what it does do is that it helps you walk, uh, it gives you a boost on your legs, and it saves you more energy and reduce stress. Yeah. Okay. Is it something we can try? Oh, we can yeah, of course. In different modules. This is a hip module. Uh, what module? Hip module. Hip. Hip. Yeah. And we have a knee module there. Okay. It basically gives you support on different parts of the leg. Okay. Okay, gotta tighten it up. Yep. Okay. Just walk normally, whatever you want. Okay. Just walk. <clears throat> walk, jump, run, whatever you want. Okay. It should be tightened. Do you feel force? Do you feel it gives you a push? Keep just walk more. Kind of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like if someone's pushing you. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I can boost you up. Like you want yeah, more force? Boost me, yeah. Boost me right up. Okay, this is max force. Let's just try. Okay. There we go. Now it's working. Yeah, yeah it gives you like a rock. Yeah, you can do like squat, you can just jump, whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And is this this is on Kickstarter now? Is it? Is that? Uh, we just finished campaign. Uh, okay. It's on eight pledge. We finished with uh, two point five million dollars, more than two thousand backers, backers, and we're shipping in March. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Okay, so you're there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first batch of our prototype. Is saying. it? Okay. Yeah. And your target market is for who? Uh, for people, for example, who love outdoors, walking, hiking, mountaineering, and for people who have uh, maybe a little problem with their leg or knees, like older people who want to walk longer, more normal, play with their kids. Yeah. That's and how long does the battery last? Uh, the battery lasts for 10 hours for one battery and with, uh, with 15.5 15, 15 miles of walking distance. Okay, it's a long time. Yes. CRT is a device for blind and visually impaired. For example, there is Salim here who is blind. There is a technology we have developed. There is sensor on the glasses. We we'll get the data about the environment, and then we have an haptic belt. The haptic belt will draw the image at very high speed on the back of the user. It's like uh, small taps, but thousands of times per second on your back, and uh, then the data go to the brain, and the brain is able to rebuild it. 
it, but he's getting taps. Yes, but uh, there is a hundred of uh, different actuators who activate at the same time, like a pixel for a screen, who send photon. We have a matrix of uh, actuator who send a small impulse. The sort of haptic screen I have on my back. So the actuators are tapping very quickly my, my back and making the picture of the silhouette of what I'm looking at. So that's the way you look for me. <laughs> uh, this is our home rubber called Aura. Uh, and this Aura. Is, yeah, this is for people's companion. Uh, so it can recognize your facial expression and also your words, your movements. Uh, it can autonomously follow you and talk with you and know whether you are happy or not to give you different response. Uh, so this is what Aura can do. We call it emotional uh, ambience interaction. Uh, and this is wax. For wax, you can DIY its looking. See? And also, uh, it's for pets. It's pets autonomous filming storyteller. So when you're not at home, it can capture your cat's lonely oh, moments. And to give you a video autonomously uh, so that you can post it on your Facebook or TikTok or something like that to show off your cute pets. Do you know how much it will cost when it comes out? Uh, actually, for this one, the price will be below $300. And okay. this one, the price will be below $200. Okay. So we want everyone to enjoy the joy of Aura and Vax. Oh, I like that. Show the chess playing Robert. And all these Robert are using the real piece and the ball. So no need a screen, no need a network. It's all using all the local AI and uh, keep you to play it in a fun and a straightforward way and uh, helping you uh, stay first. Tell me everything about Framic. Yeah, so Framic is the world's first smart color e-ink canvas that can immediately turn your voice into art. It's an e-ink uh, screen that is powered by OpenAI that allows you to touch the frame, tell Framic what you want to see, and uh, immediately see it. In addition to AI art creation, with a simple website, you can upload any photo or piece of art that you want to the screen. The result is a picture that looks like ink on paper. And because it's color e-ink, it only uses battery when the image changes, meaning that frame it can last on a single charge for up to three years. Is battery powered, there's no leads or anything like that, they can put it straight onto the wall. Correct. There's a USB-C port in the back for charging. You're going to plug that in for 40 minutes every three years and then Great. let it go for another three. Paint me a photorealistic image of a businessman in the 1960s smoking a cigarette by a pool in Los Angeles, California. I tap it again and when that recording ends, then that recording is translated by Whisper AI, the OpenAI translation tool. That text is uh, then sent to OpenAI, and we use GPT Image 1.5, the latest image model. Turns it into an image, then that image is sent back and needs to be converted into a binary file to be printed in e-ink. So there's a, quite a few things that are kind of happening. It takes about two minutes for it to come back. When you upload an image, it's a lot faster. That's what we're doing over here. So if you saw, I picked the image from my app right there. And that's able to print just like that and then it will take a little longer for the voice division creation to come into play. That's great. And there you go. Oh, amazing. 1960s businessman smoking a cigarette by a pool in Los Angeles. I love it. It's brilliant. Compact and lightweight solution of the market that permits to transform any manual wheelchair into an off-road and an electrical powered wheelchair. So the idea is that you keep your wheelchair, you add this product in the front of your wheelchair and you're able to go everywhere you want. How much would this set a wheelchair user back? How much would it cost? Uh, for European market, it would be 4,000 euros. For US market, to be de uh, defined, but uh, it will be around $6,000. So that was a snapshot of what I saw at CES Unveiled. I also saw this little robot from Joyin. They are a new robotics startup who I sadly didn't get to interview, but it was a pretty cool little robot. I am back to CES tomorrow for the main event. So if you liked this little roundup, 
please like and subscribe so you can follow along for my next video where I will be covering everything I see at CES 2026. I am your Vegas Navigator, follow for everything Vegas.